Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel and as you can see I'm holding up a book here called My Dark Vanessa. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about it because I just finished reading it um, yesterday actually and um, I have a lot of thoughts about it and um, yeah, so I was hoping to make a video about it. Again, I'm sorry for having to hold uh, the phone with my hands. This is new to me, so I don't have a tripod yet. But I thought I'd just, um, while we're in the middle of this uh, coronavirus outbreak, um, sort of like stay at home situation, I thought I'd, I'd take this time to make a quick video about My Dark Vanessa, which um, is a fairly recent uh, book that just, that was published. And um, it's a very, uh, very interesting piece of fiction. So from what I understand, Kate Elizabeth Russell, this is her first novel. And uh, this book was highly anticipated, a highly anticipated release. Um, it got some fairly, fairly, um, uh, very positive reviews by some very prominent um, writers and some prominent uh, publications like for example Gillian Flynn uh, who wrote um, the Gone Girl novel uh, praised it said that it was a brilliant and stunning book and that it was an absolute must read Stephen King wrote a blurb for it so it was a very highly anticipated release and I was excited to sort of dive into it I do know that there is a controversy surrounding uh, this book uh, coming off the heels of the American Dirt controversy and that controversy deals with um, accusations of plagiarism by Wendy C. Ortiz and who is a, a Mexican-American writer. Uh, I think she's me she's a Latinx writer, I shouldn't say Mexican-American, but she's a Latinx writer who, because I'm not sure actually if she's Mexican-American, but um, I do believe that she identifies as Latinx. And she wrote a book um, called, oh my goodness, I, I'm going blank here. Um, uh, you know what, I can't, think of the title of the book right off the top of my head right now. So I'll probably post um, the information about her book in the um, in the description box below. But so I apologize for that. Um, but there was some accusations that uh, Wendy that she she kind of took the situation um, from the book from Wendy C. Ortiz's book. And um, incorporated it into the novel and um i i'm not going to speak to that because i i think that um we can all be our own um judge about how we feel about those types of things and whether we want to support a book that that um you know or whether we even take an interest in a book that has that type of a uh, um kind of a, a checkered past <laughs> or a pedigree, I guess you could say. Um, but I just want to talk about the book on its own merits and um, sort of talk about my experience reading it. Um, I found this to be a very well-written, very uh, sad and disturbing look at child abuse and sort of the psychology of the Me Too movement um, because it does deal with some issues about um, women coming forward and uh, accusing their abusers publicly of, um, of the abuse that they endured and you know, so, sort of the issues that that brings up, people who either don't believe them or um, m even sort of the backlash that they endure, uh, the the death threats and the, the threats of violence that are lodged against people who accuse, who, who, who come forward with accusations against their abuser. And that's all very interesting. But for me, the most powerful and disturbing aspects of this book are where we get into the main character's head, and the main character's name is Vanessa, um, and she's in her 30s. The, the book kind of switches back and forth between the present day, which is um, 
her it follows her she's in her uh, her 30s and she's sort of making her way in the world but she's also dealing with this um ongoing trauma uh response about um sort of these experiences that she had when she was a student when she was um in high school um she was 15 years old i don't know if that's high school actually um but she, I do know for a fact that she's 15 when the abuse started. And it was, um, it was done by her, her teacher. And so the novel switches back and forth between the, the time that she was uh, in school when she's just starting off at this boarding school um, to the present day where she's living out the repercussions of the abuse. And this is not a, a, in the story, it's an abusive situation that was sort of, it's ongoing. It's not, um, it wasn't just a one-time thing. She actually forms a relationship with her abuser and sort of, um, it sort of reminded me of Stockholm Syndrome, although I'm not sure if that is, a if you can apply the Stockholm Syndrome to, um, situations of abuse but she sort of uh latches on to this idea that her and her abuser were in love and that this was a, actually a love story so what you're finding is that um in the present day people are th there's other students former students of this teacher that have come forward with accusations and that's actually how the book opens from the first chapter is there's these accusations against this teacher and it sort of triggers in her memory things that have gone on in her past with that same teacher um, and rather than join the movement to sort of expose this teacher, she resists it because she doesn't consider herself to have been abused by the teacher. Um, and so it's a really heartbreaking situation where we see the effects of trauma, we see the effects of um, that sort of psychological manipulation um, that the teacher had on the student, Vanessa. And it, it's just, a. I found it to be very, very um, difficult to read, but also very insightful and very, um, I thought it was not an exploitative look. I, I do wonder if maybe Kate Elizabeth Russell has some direct experience with um, this type of trauma. Um, because she writes about it very well, and she writes about it very perceptively. Um, there's some very, very hard-hitting insights, psychological insights about um, the abuse that even in my limited experience with these types of issues, I, I actually saw some things that um, in the book that are revelatory and also... Um, quite hard hitting because you you recognize um some of the some of the um the thought processes and and um emotions uh, in the character things that we normally don't want to admit to ourselves or we don't talk about openly they're actually quite i believe quite taboo um she talks about them quite openly and the main character who is is somewhat frustrating in a way because of her reluctance because of her insistence on not labeling her, her the, what she went through as abuse but rather as love um she brings it forward she's very candid she's very um she's very um she she strikes a nerve she definitely triggers uh some things emotionally in the reader because of her 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 uh, position and because of her openness about what she's going through. Um, I found it to be very, very, um, very well written. So um, unfortunately, I don't have quite the, the, I don't have the education or maybe the, the psychological uh, 
acumen to to speak to some of these issues but for me the book rang true it felt authentic it felt very specific the character felt real and uh intensely real and the situation the 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 presentation of the whole situation just felt very authentic and um it was just really sad if anything i'll say maybe the ending was a little bit too um neatly kind of it, it wasn't wrapped up completely there wasn't no there wasn't um a a resolution per se but there there was an attempt to kind of um give some hope to the whole situation which on one hand i do appreciate on the other hand i feel like it 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 may have been a little bit too um uh given what had preceded it, given the darkness and the, um, just the, the level of, um, trauma that came before it, the ending seemed a little too, um, I don't know if there's a way to wrap up a story like this in any, um, adequate way. Um, I don't know how you would do that. That's actually quite, I would imagine quite a daunting task for a, for a writer to be able to, well, how do you end this? How do you how do you give your character some resolution? Because I would imagine you do want to give your character some resolution, some sense of hope. Um, but given given the the severe trauma that she's gone through throughout the book, I don't know how you do that. And the the book does attempt to do that. I'm not sure if it does it uh, successfully or not, but it does do that. And it, it's it's a very interesting read. I would highly recommend it as um, a very difficult book to get through, but a very, um, a very true and very, um, just a very true portrait of abuse. So that's My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell, published by, I believe it's published by Morrow. That's the name of the publication company is Morrow, which I think is a subsidiary of HarperCollins. Yes, it's William Morrow. The book is not too uh, long. Uh, it's about 400 pages, just shy of 400 pages, 370 pages um, in the hardback edition, the American hardback edition. And, um, while it's not too long of a book, it's it's such intense, dark subject matter that it took me a while to get through it. So I would fi I found myself um, reading some of it and then putting it aside and then digesting that and then coming back to it. So it took me a while. By the way, that's my little dog. He's under quarantine too. This is Vincent. Say hi, Vincent. So that's my dog, Vincent, and you'll probably see him in my other in my upcoming videos. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, My Dark Vanessa, it's, uh, it's an interesting book. If it's, if it's, um, if this is something that you can, can get through, I, I think that it's worthwhile. And again, like I said, there is another book out there called, um, and gosh, I can't remember the title of it, but Wendy C. Ortiz is the author, and I'll, I'll have to check it out because from what I understand, it's a memoir about her abuse, um, and it's a similar situation, maybe, like a teacher who abuses a student. And so I'll look that up. Um, I'm sorry I don't have the title, but again, I'll look it up. Wendy C. Ortiz is the writer, and she... Um, she, and I would encourage you to look up the, 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 if you're going to read this book, I would encourage you to look up the, the controversy. There is, uh, there are a couple of articles about it. And then of course on Twitter, there's more information about what the, what the controversy is about. And you can judge for yourself whether that's something that you want to support by, by purchasing this book and reading it or whether you prefer not to. Um, so you, you can make that judgment for yourself, but for what it's worth, I consider this to be a very well-written book. I consider it to be very dark, very disturbing, but very insightful and very, uh, a humane look at, at the, the trauma situation of, of child abuse. So yeah, that's my dark Vanessa and, uh, have a uh, happy reading, I guess. That's that's how I'll end my videos now is I'll probably just say happy reading to you all. Um,
Stay safe out there. Bye.